Set to overtake the chip market in the Android space, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is indeed a dragon. Video editing? Don't worry, it supports background blur. Gaming? Say less. Ray tracing is also coming with this new chip. Wow, that's great. What makes it so powerful? Find out about this and more in this video. Let's get into it. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 The Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is an advanced system-on-chip SOC, that was developed specifically for use in mobile devices such as the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Late in the year 2022, it was made available to the public by TSNC utilizing their 4NM manufacturing process, N4P. Its CPU is the mobile CPU with the highest clock speed for Android smartphones, even faster than the Apple A16 SoC. Impressive! In addition, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has a better graphics processing unit, GPU, called the Adreno 740, which is superior than the integrated GPU found in the Apple A16 in terms of performance and enables hardware ray tracing. We'll tell you more about this GPU later in the video. Keep watching. Creo CPU. To continue, the Creo Central Processing Unit, CPU, is the most important component of this device. It is fabricated utilizing TSMC's 4NM foundry and the most recent version of the ARMv9 architecture. How oh, interesting. It has a prime Cortex-X3 core that is clocked at 3.2 GHz and a unique 1 plus 4 plus 3 arrangement, which comprises four performance cores rather than the standard three. Cortex A715 cores clocked at 2.8 GHz and supporting 64-bit are two of these cores, while Cortex A710 cores clocked at the same speed and supporting 32-bit are the other two. This ensures compatibility with older applications. Efficiency improvements that you should get from that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, the battery life should be pretty decent. Qualcomm asserts that this arrangement will be able to give performance that is 35% quicker than the 8 Gen 1 chip used in the previous iteration, especially in resource-intensive applications such as gaming. Love learning about your favorite smart devices? Why aren't you subscribed yet? Hit the subscribe button to get our endless supply of tech videos with accurate details. Turn on post notifications to be the first to know. Adreno GPU The Qualcomm Adreno GPU is essential for gamers since it improves graphics performance by 25% and has the additional function of ray tracing that may be activated in hardware. Your Galaxy S23 Ultra 5G's portrayal of shadows, reflections, and light sources in video games may all be improved with the help of a new technique that replicates beams of light. I see. In the past, ray tracing in mobile games was powered by software. However, the hardware-based version in Qualcomm's GPU is far more powerful and efficient. Qualcomm is working with other companies like Tencent to bring ray tracing to mainstream mobile gaming, and the inclusion of the technology in the Dimensity 9200's Immortalist G715 GPU may encourage more game developers to support it in the future. All these are made possible, partly due to its powerful new AI engine. We'll give you all the juicy details getting to the end of the video, so stick around. Connectivity The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 incorporates the Snapdragon X70 modem, which is equipped with a specialized AI processor with the purpose of enhancing the performance of 5G networks. Additionally, it has integrated 5G compatibility for both MN wave and sub-6 bandwidths, and its performance has been enhanced for the purpose of making it more effective. In addition, the 8 Gen 2 has compatibility for Wi-Fi 7, which has not yet been formally approved, but is in the process of being developed. Wi-Fi 7 is an improvement over Wi-Fi 6E. It supports the 6 GHz band in addition to the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, and it has the capability of achieving rates of up to 5.8 GB per second on 8 Gen 2 phones. The incorporation of this technology in the 8 Gen 2 assures that the phone will be ready for the future, despite the fact that Wi-Fi 7 routers are not yet widely accessible. AI Engine Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has the most advanced iteration of the Qualcomm AI Engine. 
the Hexagon processor, which is meant to speed up processing in neural networks, now has support for microtile inferencing, and its tensor accelerator is twice as massive as in prior models. According to Qualcomm's estimates, this leads in a 4.35x increase in AI performance compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The performance per watt of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has been improved by 60% thanks to its support for INT4 accuracy for the first time. Phones equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will gain additional capabilities thanks to the Snapdragon AI engine, which are comparable to those provided by Google's Tensor G2 processor in the Pixel 7 series. Examples of this feature include simultaneous translation into many languages and the ability to blur the backdrop of video. Qualcomm's Sensing Hub, which gathers and processes data from its surroundings, has also been upgraded with a second AI processor. In the past, this was used to adjust the level of a ringtone yeah, really. so that it would be audible over ambient noise or to activate AI-based noise cancellation in noisy environments. According to Qualcomm, it may now be used to program in individual wake phrases for command of certain applications. Release Date Samsung has finally confirmed the launch date on its website, putting an end to the rumors and leaks that have been circulating over the Galaxy S23 series. On February 1, 2023, the Galaxy Unpacked 2023 Part 1 event will take place, with the slogan Epic Moments Are Coming. The three back cameras can also be seen in the advertising picture, each of which has its own ring around it in a manner that is similar to the leaked renderings. You guys will love it, trust me. It is anticipated that the Galaxy S23 series will be available for purchase in the same price range as the Galaxy S22 series and will go on sale during the second week of February 2023. The event will be live streamed on Samsung.com, the Samsung Newsroom, and the Samsung channel on YouTube, where fans may watch it. Is the processor worth it? Even if the CPU within the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is powerful, whether or not purchasing the device is profitable is entirely dependent on your requirements. The Galaxy S23 Ultra's price is expected to be around the same $1,199 region, maybe more or slightly less. It features quicker speeds, improved graphics, and a longer battery life when compared to versions with lower-end specifications. This is epic. On the other hand, the cost is much higher. If you need something with the highest possible performance, purchasing this processor could be the best choice for you. But if you're looking for something more cost-effective, it might not be worth the additional money. Do you want to take your photography skills to the next level? Check out the insane new camera on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. With its powerful zoom, AI-powered features, and next-gen ISO CELL-HP3 sensors capabilities, this phone's camera is the perfect tool for amateur and professional photographers alike. Watch the video now to learn more about this incredible device and see for yourself why it's so revolutionary.